Well, hello everybody. How are you? How are you? My name is Wayne. You are watching Inside Fail On. We have a very interesting show for you today. We're going to be opening up with a special art opening, opening reception here at the Maurice M. Pine Free Public Library. It's up on the second floor in the Pine Gallery. And coming up in the show, we're going to have a little welcoming, a grand opening for a new neighbor in town. And we're going to be ending with a special interview with Kathy, who is one of the executive directors of the Fairlawn High School Athletic Hall of Fame, because the induction ceremony and another few days of activity will be coming up October 1st. All that's to follow, so it's going to be an interesting show. So come on, join me as we go inside Fairlawn. All right, folks, as I mentioned to you outside, there's a very special show going on here in the Pine Gallery. And I have a feeling there's a person right over here who's going to help me with you. Hi, what's your name? Adrian Siegel Cooperberg. And I understand this is your show today. Yes, it is. And this is your opening reception. Yes, it is. First I'm very all, excited. Congratulations <laughs> on that. Thank you. This is a kind of a unique special show because it's something that I haven't really seen in a little while. Before we start walking around, can you maybe describe it a little bit to me? Name and such, something like that? All right. This exhibit is called Jewish Ritual Art, The Fabrics of Our Lives, and the focus is on Jewish life cycle. Oh, well, wow. So we're sort of like going through a phase of life almost from one end to the other end. Am I getting that right a little bit? Yes, you are. And I can see someone's getting married behind you, but we're not quite there yet. No. Do you have a few minutes <laughs> to maybe just join me and walk around a little bit? Yes, I would love to. Why don't we start over here? Now, I'm not going to pick on any of these. These are probably all fake, but they look great. What's this first setup? The first setup is when a new baby is born, a little boy, before the Friday night before a circumcision. Family members are, and friends come into the home of, of the family and they have like a small collation of fruits and, and drinks and cake. And you made all these displays, I'm assuming, right? I made all right? these displays, yes. Wow, did you have any help in just getting an idea what these things look like or was this from memory? No, this is... What's this made out of? These are... Faux, faux food. Faux food, I understand. <laughs> well. These I didn't make. These I purchased. That, that's the worst. So I'll tell yes. you what. Let's keep stepping a little bit further back. And this is one of our next exhibits. Yes. This tell me about this one. This is a pillow that is used when a, a boy is circumcised. He's carried in on a pillowcase with a pillow inside. So, and the names that are on here are all the names of the boys that have used this pillow. Oh. And these are family members. This is your my, family. My family. Okay. This is the first generation of my parents' grandchildren, and the ones that are in the lighter colors are in the second generation. These are the great grandchildren. This is exciting. Let's keep on going, please, if you don't mind. Thank you for letting me just kind of like walk around with you. And we have over here now. This is called a vimple. It's it? vimple. It's vimple. pronounced vimple with a V, but it's spelled with a W. This was a German Jewish tradition in going back many generations where they would take the swaddling cloth from a circumcision and afterwards it would be cut up and made into a 12 foot long piece and it would be a binder for a Torah scroll. Oh, I understand that. Okay. Very good. What's behind you? All right. This is when the boy is three. Now he's going to start his formal Jewish education. He puts on the four cornered garment, which we called tzitzit. He starts to wear a skull cap, and he has his hair cut. So in the little watch fob is the hair from my own children. This is amazing. When they got their first haircut. Please, keep on joining me. More, more, All more. All right. Now the baby is 30 days old. Okay. If it is a firstborn son of a family where neither parent is from a priestly or Levite family, the child needs to be redeemed because he should have been serving in the temple in Jerusalem. We call this a pigeon haben, redeeming the male. And he's brought in on a special cushion. And you made this cushion? And I made the cushion. It's all crazy quilting and all hand embroidered. That's what I wanted to make sure that people understood that you actually made most of what we're looking at here yes. too. Okay, this is what we were just talking about a little bit earlier. Yes, time goes really quick. Now the boy is gonna have, he's 13, he's gonna have his bar mitzvah. Right. So he puts on phylacteries, which we call, in Ivrit, we call to fill in. And many families make a bag. I did not make this bag, but I embroidered my son's name on it. 
this in the been goal. Very, this must have been a very exciting project for you to put together, sort of like reliving your life a little bit. It is. And what do we have here? For some boys, for German, from German descent, the boys will also put on a prayer shawl once they turn 13 when they pray in the synagogue. Yes. And the collar is what I made, and it's all done in silver, silver pieces to be like the Wall of Jerusalem, and it's like the Jerusalem skyline all done in gold threads. This is so good. Let's go keep on moving. I still have a little, couple more minutes, and we're walking all down right. over here now. Before the wedding. Before the wedding. We have what's called a tenayim, which means agreements, and that's where the plate is broken by the two parents. These are betrothal agreements, and this bag the design is called Broken Dishes, this quilt design, which I made to hold the plate. The plate and the agreement you see here are from my own wedding. Whoa. But we don't want to have any broken dishes for real in, in life, do we? No, it? but the broken dish means you cannot put, you cannot change the agreements once they've been signed. That's what I wanted to know. That's okay. what the dishes is for. All right. For. And what would happen next? Then we next? go to here. Then the wedding takes place. The wedding. So this is a wedding canopy that I made that I lend to various people. And once the wedding has taken place, I take, you'll see there's leaves that I've put on that have names of people and the dates of their wedding that I add to, it, I call it a tree of life. Oh, well, and you made so this. So that is added. So this How long did it take you to make this? This took me three and a half years. It was the first quilt I ever made. Three and a half years. Yes. Fantastic. Well, not consistently, but well, I know it you, was you, done. You, you took Saturdays <laughs> off for the Sabbath. I just want people to see that. Yeah. This is based on a design by the designer Ricky Timms, who made this a similar quilt to this. And I, I didn't totally design it from scratch, but I liked his design, so I, I made this it. This is fabulous. Now, just as part of a tradition, I remember we have to step on something that's made out of glass. Is that still going on? That still goes on today, certainly at Orthodox and Conservative. I don't know if Reform, I think Reform still do it as well. Many people use a light bulb so that it doesn't. It's easier to do. It's easier to break because glass today is thicker and harder to break. It has to be broken. That's for, to remember the destruction of the temple in Jerusalem. Ah, okay. And this is something that looks like it probably belongs on the top of a cake. Um, yes and no. Yes and no. Tell the me. The seven days after a wedding, certainly in Orthodox families, they meet and have a meal together, and it's with new people who haven't been there, and they say the same seven blessings that were said under as part of the wedding ceremony. Okay. And I made this, and there are little cards for people to write good wishes, and it fits in, and then the top comes off. And the cards are kept. And the cards could be given to the wedding couple, and it's like to take good wishes with them away from their guests. Fantastic. And what's going to be... Now, the piece oh, I'm here, sorry. I'm sorry. this is actually a marriage contract called a ketubah, which literally means written thing. This is a marriage contract. But a marriage contract is not what people think it is. What this actually is the woman's rights under her marriage and what she's entitled to if her husband dies or if he divorces her. Okay, I'm running out of time, but let's end over here. This is a memorial piece to, for remembrance of the year of, you know, when, when it comes to the year's anniversary of a death, you light, we light a memorial lamp, we go to the cemetery, we put a rock on on top of, of the gravestone as if we are participating in the burial. And I made this piece as a memorial piece actually for my in-laws. And it could hold different pictures. Okay, step over here, just so I want to have this as a background. Sure. How do you feel having all this set up? I'm very excited about this, especially since we are coming into the holidays. And when we come into the holidays now, it is, it is, all the Jewish holidays are going to take place in October, and I'm very excited that this is going to be in the library at this time of year. And the show is running here until when? Do you know how long? October 28th. Suppose somebody wants to maybe get in touch with you. How would they be able to do I, that? They can email me. It's adriancooperberg at gmail.com. It's spelled A-D-R-I-E-N-N-E-K-U-P-E-R-B-E-R-G at gmail.com. A pleasure meeting you. A pleasure meeting you as well. Thank I, you. I think you're doing some wonderful work here. I'm going to share this with my audience so they can come by and visit and experience what you just experienced with me. Enjoy your grand opening and your opening reception today. And I appreciate that very much that you came to take a look at my artwork. Of course. Thank you very much. Okay, folks, that was an interesting... you got to stop by here. We're on the second floor, the Pine Gallery, okay? And...
you're going to enjoy it. Now stay with me. We're going to keep on going around town, so don't go away. Inside Fail On does continue.